Okay, go ahead and uh, open up your exponents. Using your math notes. Okay, so you need to know how to do to the power of. So when you do 6 to the power of 2 or 4 to the power of 4, like that? Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do, go ahead and maximize your window first. You always want to maximize window. So, nice. Okay, go ahead and do a 4. Do you have something specific that you want to do to the power of, or shall I just create numbers? Just create them. Okay, let's do 4 to the power of 2 first, okay? So do a, a 4. Now, to the power of is control shift plus. JAWS is going to say control shift equals, but it's not. It really is control shift plus. So do a control shift plus. Perfect. Now do a two. Okay, do a space and turn it off with the exact same command. Now, I want you, you're going to read this line and you're going to see the problem with uh, the speaking voice that you have right now. Insert up arrow. See how it says 42? You need to have your attributes on so that will read correctly. Do you remember how to turn on your, to change your schemes or your speech? Insert all S. Insert, right on, nice job. Insert all S, yes. And we want to go to classic attributes. Good job. And just remember, word classic is what we want to go back to when we're not in math. So go ahead and hit C till you come to classic attributes. Perfect. Hit enter. Okay, now I want you to insert up arrow and listen. See the difference? Mm -hmm. If you don't have it on and you have JAWS reading, if you don't have attributes on, it's going to say 42, and you're going to think it's actually 42. Well, it's 4 to the power of 2. What I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and do equals, and I want you to listen to it. So do your equal sign. Wait, what had my font somehow changed? Yes, I, I wondered if you recognized that. Now, I want you to insert up arrow that you're being very aware. That is excellent. Now, insert up arrow and listen. And now you've heard that the equals is part of the superscript. Well, you don't want that. You want that equals to be normal. So just shift control left arrow to select your equal sign. And just control shift plus and move it into normal. Beautiful. Now right arrow. Okay, now listen to make sure you did that correctly. Insert up arrow. Beautiful. And do a space. What is 4 to the power of 2? Um, 16. Very good. And go ahead and put your answer. One, six. Nice. Now, Three. listen to the whole thing to really make sure it says exactly what you want it to say. What's the read-all key? Or, I mean, the read-line key? 16. Insert up arrow. Good job. Okay, go to the next line. Can we change my font? Uh, what would you like to change your font to? What, the Times New Roman thing? Okay, I want you to insert F and listen to your font. It is Times New Roman. What font did you think it was? 
It was Calibri or something like that. Oh, you know what? It, it could have been. Now, if it was Calibri, how would you change it to Times New Roman? It, um, I'm not sure. I think it's, um, I'm not, I don't remember that one. Okay, I will go ahead and take you through it, and we can change the font to something else, and then we'll do two problems, and then I'm going to have you change the font back to Times New Roman, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Control D. And I'm not sure how you're going to remember D because it doesn't really have anything to do with font other than you're just going to have to memorize control D. And of course it reaffirms that you are in Times New Roman. Let's go ahead and change it to Arial Black. So hit A for Arial. Now, go ahead and do R in there to make it a little bit faster to get to that font. Now, down arrow until you hear Arial Black. Very good. Let's go ahead and also change the font size to 14. So, tab twice to size. And just type in 14 for 14. And enter to close your box. Okay, go ahead and hit enter and move down. Okay, now insert F and listen to your font. Okay, so remember, if you need to double check your font, you're just going to do insert F and it will tell you the size in the font. So you Actually, can... I think it, um, I think this one it was Times New Roman, but every time I open up Word, it's, it's Calibri. What we can do is we will go to your other work and we will change it to Times New Roman, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll see if it is. Okay, so right now I want you to do 3 to the power of 4. Do you think you can do that by yourself or do you want instruction on it? I think I can do it. Okay, 3 to the power of 4. Now, I do suggest listening to make sure everything really sounds the way you want it to be. Normal three superscript four normal equals. Is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, so what is three to the power of four? Twelve. Are you sure? Well, we weren't doing... We That's, you, you probably weren't doing it that big. That's okay. I will give you an instruction on this. First, we're going to do it out long. How many threes do we need? If it's three to the power of four, how many threes are we going to times by? Do you three. know? Three. It's three to the power of four. That tells me we need four four threes, right? Yeah. Did you know that's what to the power of meant? I meant repeated multiplication. It is repeated multiplication. So when we had four to the power of two, that means we needed two fours. We needed four times four, and that's how you got 16. So now you're going to do 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, correct? That's what he did today in his lesson. He did very well with it. Great. So you're going to do that again here. So I want you to do 3. And when you need that multiplication symbol, I want you to do insert 4 and hit M for the multiply symbol, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Three, now do a space. Eight, eight, space. Insert four. Bring it closer so it's not so far away. There you go. Select the symbol to print dialogue. M for multiply. Good. Enter. I know what it feels like on the um on the um space. braille say. Good. Braille. That's right. You're gonna read it on the braille display as soon as you braille type it out. Okay, keep going. We need 
four threes.